There's a friend in Fimble Valley that we're on our way to see. To hear him tell his stories, maybe stay for tea. He's a mole who's living underground, and his name is Roly Mo. Roly, 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 Roly Mo. He's the rolliest mole you'll ever know, and his name is Roly Mo. La 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 la. Hello to you. How do you do? I'll just take my rucksack off. And I'll put my hat there. Little Bo! Hello! Come and play! Hide and peep! Oh, yes, I'll play! Hide and peep! <laughs> Peepo! Whee! <laughs> Come on, let's go and find them. Off we go go! Whee! <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello there. And how are you today? Do you know, I'm just looking for a story to read to the Fimbles. Maybe you could help me find one. Will you sing along with me? When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you will see? When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. With cats and dogs and birds and frogs, a monkey who says boo. Ooh. Wonderful things, and giants and kings, and maybe a thimble or two. Now what have we here? When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme, just take the time to read along with me. Hmm. Books over here, books over there. Find me a book with a story to share. One story for the thimbles, if you please. Ah, thank you. Now then, are you sitting comfortably? Good. Then I'll begin. Hmm. Farmer Straw went to market with the apples from his orchard. He sold them all. And then he took the money to Anna Spanner, who ran the second-hand tool stall. I'd like a spade, please, said Farmer Straw. Anna Spanner found him the perfect spade. Farmer Straw gave her the money, and she gave him his change. One shiny penny. What will you do with that penny? asked Anna Spanner. I think I'll buy a nice iced bun with chocolate sprinkles, said Farmer Straw. You know, the ones that Bert the Baker makes. They're absolutely scrumptious, and they cost a penny each. When he got to Bert's stall, there was one delicious iced bun left. But then Farmer Straw noticed that the little old lady at the stall next door had a chicken for sale. Buy my chicken, said the little old lady. Only one penny. Farmer Straw pushed his hat back on his head and looked at the chicken. She's a lovely little thing, said the little old lady. And she's all by herself. It was true. She was a lovely chicken, all speckly and feathery. Then he looked at the iced bun. Oh, it was lovely too, all speckly and delicious. But if I buy your chicken for a penny, I shan't be able to afford Bert's iced bun. Don't worry said Bert the baker. You buy the chicken with your penny and I'll give you the iced bun as a present. I'm going home in a minute and I won't be able to sell it before I go. Thank you, said Farmer Straw as the little old lady gave him the chicken. And thank you, he said as Bert gave him the bun. What will you call her? asked the little old lady. Chicky? Chickadee? I think I'll call her Penny said Farmer Straw, because that's what she cost. There. I think the Fimbles will like that story, don't you? <laughs> Peekaboo! Ooh, did you hear that? I wonder what that noise was. 
Maybe it was the bookworm. <laughs> you go! Ooh. Migo! We, we go! go. Amigo! Hello, Rolly. Oh, hello there, you two snoots. What are you up to? We're playing hide and peep with little Bo. Have you seen her? Well, no, I haven't. Then toot toot. Got a scoot. Oh, uh, a toot toot. <laughs> <laughs> ah, hello there, little Bo. Hello, Uncle Rolly. Oh. I'm looking for the snoots. We're playing hide and peep. Oh, well, they were here a moment ago. <laughs> I love playing hide and peep. Busy book, busy book, let's take a look. Someone is hiding. Who can it be? Is it a thimble? Who can you see? It's Fimbo. What are we going to do today, Fimbo? Fimbo's got his bouncy blue ball. Where's Fimbo's bouncy blue ball gone? Let's help him find it. Can you see anything blue? Look, there's something blue. Is that Fimbo's ball? No, that's not Fimbo's ball. That's a butterfly. Can you see anything else that's blue? Something else blue. Is it Fimbo's ball? No, that's not Fimbo's ball. That's a spade. Look, there's something blue. Is it Fimbo's ball? Oh, look, there's something else blue. What is it? Oh, rocket is bouncy too. <laughs> Thank you, Fimbo. Have fun playing with Rocket and your bouncy blue ball. See you again soon. That was fun, Uncle Rolly. But I better carry on looking for the snoots now. See you later. Snootigator? Uh, now, where did I put that storybook? Oh. That's funny. I thought I put the book down here, but it doesn't seem to be here anymore. Wherever did I put it? Oh, well, I'm just going to have to have a jolly good look for it. <laughs> Everyone loves playing hide and peep. The hiders hide and the peepers peep. In the end, we all land in a heap. Yes, we all love playing hide and peep. Good spot, quiet as a mouse, could be anywhere around the house. Don't make a sound, don't move a hair, or else they'll know that you are there. Shut your eyes and count to ten, and now the game can start again. You're never too old or too young to play, try not to giggle and give the game away. Everyone loves playing hide and the hiders hide and the peepers peep. In the end, we all land in a heap. Yes, we all love playing hide and peep. In the end, we all land in a heap. Yes, we all love playing hide and peep. Yes, we all love playing hide and peep. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there. I'm still looking for my missing book. I think the bookworm must have borrowed it. <laughs> Look, Uncle Rolly, I found Migo. Well done. But we're still looking for Hugo. Hmm. Oh. Are you looking for something, Uncle Rolly? Well, yes, I am, actually. I'm looking for a missing book. A hissing book? Oh, oh, a missing book, yes. I'm looking for the story that I'm going to read to the Fimbles today, but I just can't find it. I've looked everywhere for it. Oh. And we've looked everywhere for you, Go. <sighs> ah, not everywhere. You didn't look in Rowley's bag. You go! There 
there you are. <laughs> yes, here I am. <laughs> hmm. It's not very comfy in your bag, Rowley. Isn't it? No, there's something big and hard in here. And it's got square corners, too. Well, do you know, that sounds like my missing book. <laughs> oh, What's it doing in here? Playing hide and peep, just like we were. Oh, I thought the bookworm had borrowed it. The bookworm? Yes, they love books. Let me show you. Hmm. The bookworm family lived in a house made of books. And everything inside the house was made of books. They each went to bed in a book bed and ate their dinner at a book table. And every day for dinner they ate baked beans. <laughs> you might think that bookworms eat books too. But no, they love to read books. One day Granny Bookworm was feeling sad. Go and cheer up your granny, said Mummy Bookworm. So the bookworm children wiggled and squiggled and stood on their heads. But she didn't even smile. What's the matter, Granny? asked the smallest bookworm child. Well, she sighed, you see, my little booklet worm, I'm down in the dumps because I've read all the books in the house, frontwards and backwards. Some I've even read upside down. I've read books inside and outside. Books in the bathroom and books under the light of the silvery moon. I have read big books, and small books, and in-between books. There are no books left that I haven't read, and I do love reading. Have you read all the blue books? asked the smallest bookworm child. I have, said Granny. Have you read all the yellow books? asked the tallest bookworm child. I have, said Granny. Every single one. My favourite colour for a book is green. And I've read all the green ones as well. How many books have you read? Asked the bookworm children. 5,322, said Granny, and she sighed again. Wow! Said all the bookworms. They tried to imagine that many books, but it made their eyes go wobbly. That's it said Mummy Bookworm, who didn't like her family moping about. We're going out. So they all got on the bus and didn't get off until they reached the library. The library was full of books that Granny Bookworm hadn't ever read. Granny was so happy that she had to sit down. From that day on, they went to the library every week. Sometimes they borrowed black books, and sometimes orange. Sometimes they borrowed a book of every colour of the rainbow. And Granny Bookworm never ran out of books to read again. There, you see, bookworms love books. I wonder if the bookworm really did put the book in your bag. I wonder. Oh, well, we've had a hide-and-peep day today, haven't we? Yes, yes it's, it's been, been a roly-moly day. Oh, you will come and join us next time in Fimble Valley, won't you? Now it's time for us all to go. Cheerio! Cheerio! I wonder if the bookworm has hidden anything else in my bag. Let's have a look. Oh, <laughs> look, Uncle Roly. Here's your slipper. Oh, I wondered where that had got to. 